guys, how are you? Um, listen, I've had numerous people ask me how I turned my fireplace into what looks like real brick. So since I am in the act right now doing the whole room, I just thought I'd put a little quick tutorial together for you. Okay, so this is the fireplace. And as you can see, it looks a lot like brick. I mean, I still, to this day, when I see it, it's, it's just amazing. So this is actually Artec insulation foam, just regular stuff you put in the walls behind drywall. And what I've done is I've put it up with Velcro on the wall because I don't know if I want this to be permanent or not. So, um, measured out the whole wall and then I took this, I guess it's a two by one and a half inch piece of wood and I just started running some lines, you know? It doesn't have to be perfect because brick just isn't. And um, once you get your lines done, you get yourself a little uh, soldering iron. I got one with lights on it so I can see a little bit better. My eyesight suck anymore. And um, once you get your lines done, you just, you know, let it heat up. And this is kind of the fun part, it's tedious, but you just drag it along the line, making your grout lines. And, you know, try and stay as straight as possible. But again, laying brick, it doesn't look perfect, doesn't have to. And that's basically it right there. And then once you're done, I filled the back part in with a black paint and then uh, I went over the black real lightly with a, like a rustic color paint. And then I used a little bit lighter tone throughout the different bricks just to really offset it a little bit. Now the stuff's toxic, so you want to wear a respirator, which I do have. It's on the couch over there. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I'm going to kind of do a little bit of this uh, throughout the day and I'll take video as I go. See ya. Tools that you will need to finish your project. Heat gun. This one happens to be made by Easy Power. Solder iron. This one happens to be made by Weller. Glue gun. This one. Eventually, I did end up using a glue gun. Uh, in the video, I did mention that I used Velcro, but once I saw how good it looked, I did want to make it permanent, and this really helped out. Respirator. And this one happens to be made by 3M because the stuff is toxic. And that's what you'll need.
wire, the grout lines have been put in with the soldering iron. Tedious. I recommend putting a good album on, a radio station, whatever, your favorite music, and just kicking back, relax, and uh, slowly put your grout lines in. Um, it's tedious, so it, it, it takes, like if you have a lot to do, it's gonna take a day. Um, the next very important, very important step is to get yourself a heat gun. Yeah, it's a lot hotter than a hair dryer, although it looks like one. I don't recommend drying your hair with this or uh, you'll reenact uh, Michael Jackson's little episode there, I'm sure. <clears throat> but, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank this up. We're gonna see the elements get hot. And you're gonna run this over the brick where it just kind of heats it up. You'll see it rolled away. And it'll kind of form the brick a little bit better than, you know, square. It'll kind of give it its shape, its texture. It'll look more like real brick. And uh, you don't want to leave it on there too long or it will melt it. So yeah, it's kind of the more fun thing to do. See how it shapes the end there. And like I said, it, it hardens it up. You'll see how hard it gets. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna do this for the rest of this wall. And then after that, you're ready to paint. See ya. Now that the grout lines have been put in the foam and the texture has been uh, lightly gone over with a heat gun, we're ready to put the darker grout onto the foam. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole thing. So therefore, you get uh, the rustic look when you put... Uh, you get an older look when you put the rustic over it, you know, when you lightly go over it. So it gives it that effect that it's like a real old brick. So let's do that now. So now we've got the base down. We've covered all the cracks with the uh, dark paint, all right? So you go out and you find yourself a nice color um, that you want your bricks. Um, and that's what I did mine on the fireplace. So I'm gonna try and match the same thing. I just went to the hardware store and uh, picked up the same kind of paint. And you get yourself a little roller and uh, this is the fun part. Um, 
putting the dark stuff in is very tedious. And uh, I just recommend, you know, <laughs> a glass of wine, some music, and, and go at it. And give yourself a couple days. Um, all right, so we've got the color of our brick. And we're just going to go over it real lightly at first. You know, you're just going to run this down and, and uh, you know, go a little darker in some areas and not so dark in, in some other areas. Letting that dark come through, and it's going to give it that old brick style look you know it's gonna give it that old weathered stuff which is really cool so it's gonna do that throughout the whole wall and, uh, let's see how it turns out So we've added our base, we've added the color of the brick, and what we're going to do now is we're just going to get a lighter color paint, and we're just going to kind of offset um, the brick by just you know lightly going over a couple pieces of brick with a really light, light amount of paint on a brush, and just find, you know, Go out, go throughout the wall and find a little brick and, you know, maybe just brush a little brightness on there, you know, to give it a little offset, look like a, like a brick that just kind of was, uh, just a little bit di different pigmented and, um, you know, just do a couple here and there to, uh, give it a little bit of accent, if you will. And, um. It kind of makes it look a little older, I guess. Anyway, really happy with the way this came out. Matches the fireplace. Um, just doing a couple bricks here and there. Did the whole wall down the side. And then uh, gonna do the rest of the room. All right, happy painting. And there you have it. Absolutely nothing to it. <laughs> now listen, three things. Be patient. It's tedious at times. Like I said, put a good playlist on, a glass of wine, and just put some time aside and do it. Power through it. The result you'll be happy with. Um, number two. When you're doing the grout lines, you only need to go like a quarter of an inch, anything more than that, and you risk burning through it. I know, because I did it. Uh, and number three, have fun. I mean, it's gonna look really good. You're gonna really enjoy it. Um, I did this not only because it looks good, but it's pretty cost effective when you look at the prices of brick out there to put on a wall. Um, I also play bass in a band. So I'm kind of hoping with the band playing down there in my man cave, uh, that this foam is gonna add an uh, added benefit. So um, all in all, I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I'm gonna make more. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel and I'll put more out for you. 
See ya.